Hello, welcome back. Uh, for the last two weeks, new words have appeared in our vocabulary. Isolation, quarantine, social dist distanciation. All of this has become the new normal. And all of this has a deep impact on our world, on our lives. And see if some of us have come to term with it, I would say, uh, maybe reluctantly, but still, others are still struggling or are in complete denial. As I'm recording this today, I read to I read that the president of the United States of America, who's uh, really the country is really fighting with the COVID-19 uh, disease. Well, the president just said that he's planning to reopen the country for Easter, which is only in 19 days. And that goes against the, uh, I would say, advice of the scientific communities. But it seems that him and many others in American society are ready to sacrifice a few uh, American to save the economy, I would say. And it may seem strange, but somehow we should not be that surprised because for that man, uh, his life was basically organized around business and money. That's what he knows. And it makes me uh, remember this, this saying that our, our true nature, individually and collectively, is revealed in time of crisis. When we are unsecure, unsure, um, out of a zone of comfort, our true nature shows. Uh, for example, all this uh, toilet paper, uh, paper uh, frenzy. Um, we saw people who not just hoard toilet paper, but some uh buy everything the store had and left nothing for others they did not think they think about self not about the community of the people surrounding them and for others it's the complete opposite i would say it's almost if they are looking to become a martyr uh, they will place themselves in uh, danger in dangerous situation because they are unable to say no, because they, they want to please others, they want, they want to save others. And, or for some, uh, maybe you have noticed, some are guilty because they're not working, because somehow deep down they want to prove themselves, uh, they want to prove to the people around them they have some sum of worth, and they find this uh, worth in their work and their career. Uh, I have to be honest, uh, what I'm reading online on Facebook, it's the case of many of my colleagues these days. Um, if some believe that, still believe that we work an hour of day on Sunday morning, we show up at church and we just start talking and then we go back home, well, that's not the case. Um, many are working way much more than usual, maybe harder than ever. Uh, I read this guy saying he hasn't took a day off in 17 days. And uh, all of this because we're trying to figure out what it means to be the church of God, to be the body of Christ, to be there for one another in this time of pandemic. And we had this conversation with one of the committee uh, I'm still uh, working with, and we meet via a video conference, uh, not face to face, don't worry. And maybe it's part of the culture we live in. We live in the culture that I've, tells us over and over that more and bigger is better you know and we ought to be productive and it ought to be visible other ought to see it 
but instead of trying to keep this message in these times uh, instead of saying you know we need to produce more we need to do more uh, maybe a better question and in, in, then how can I still do more maybe a better question is what is my calling what part am I called to play in this time in this place and let's be honest here you know often we talk about calling for ministers and clergies and priests and but everybody has a calling by God that's what I believe it's just different from one individual to another and so what is our calling what are we supposed to do in this time and place and maybe for some is to be a present and loving parent especially during these times when schools are closed and children are out of their routine and 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 probably worried because they're not dumb they hear what people say to be present and loving them that's a call to be a supportive spouse there's so many people who are losing their jobs who are sent home that not sure where the money will come from next time to support one another that's a call to be a compassionate friend to listen not just talking about self but let other talking and truly listening not judging that too is a call to be a reassuring presence in her family, in her home, in her community, and the ways we can, that too is a calling. I guess what I'm trying to say is in this time of pandemic, this time of crisis, yes, we can revert to our primal nature, I would say. Me, myself, and I, or, or trying to prove ourselves, or trying to overcompensate or whatever or we can follow another direction first always listening to science and health official that it's number one priority regardless of anything but also and not but and also maybe to stop being I would say a victim of the situation and regain our ownership by doing something that might not be our first inclination but can bring something good uh, we can support our church our charities I know a lot of people are struggling financially and that's okay for those who are fortunate and continue to support those who are doing great work essential work during these times we can take a few minutes like five minutes and use one of those you remember phone to call people it seems strange but yes we can call people we can use our our keyboard and send an email and say hey how are you doing how are you coping do you need something you know I'm not sick I can go to the grocery store uh, buy something and leave it on your porch and then you can pick it and um, you know no contamination that we can do and for those of us who believe in God we can pray not that kind of magical uh, prayer that please God stop this pandemic I I don't think that's what I'm saying but pray for those who are struggling pray for first respondent that cannot take a break for people working in grocery stores pharmacists doctor and nurses pray for people who are healthy uh, unhealthy and and healthy we can pray I know it's not necessarily the most productive things we can do 
but for sure it can make a difference for us for the people we're praying for so once again what is your call in these times in this place in this time of coronavirus crisis thank you for watching thank you for being there and keep others in your mind be safe and bye-bye